in fact i feel that fortune favors you all today and this video is going to push you forward in solving the problem which is so important if you watch this video right till the end then gradually the things are going to get easier for you so you will see that you do not have to put in as much effort as you needed in the beginning of this video so today's topic is principal conjunct to normal forms and this is from mathematical logics and this is related to mfcs dms and dmgt so now we are going to obtain the pcnf so which is principal conjunct to normal forms using the truth tables so these are the important questions which are taken from the previous question papers and please don't miss this video till the end see as you know that conjunction is nothing but un symbol so this is product so it is related to product and disjunction is the sum so this is the sum so you have to learn that conjunction is nothing but and which is uh, otherwise called as a product and disjunction is the sum so both are having the symbols like this so now i am going to teach you about the max terms so what are these max terms how it is related to pcnf so max terms are nothing but the max terms consist of a disjunction see here disjunction is nothing but the sum in which each variable or its negation see here each variable or its negation but not both appears so if you take two propositions p and q so if it is connected with the disjunction some symbol that is p or q p or negation q negation p or q negation p or negation q if you add up these two proportions this is the addition disjunction then we call that these terms are the max terms so these terms are called the max terms clear so if you take any two propositions and if you connect with the disjunction symbol some symbol then connection of the variable or its negation so this is these two are the variables this is the variable and the negation of q so this is the negation symbol if any two variables are connected with the disjunction or the sum symbol those are called the max terms so now how this max terms are related to the principal conjunct to normal forms so according to the principal conjunct to normal forms if these max terms are multiplied then we say that it is a principal conjunct to normal form so let's see the product of all the max terms so these are all the max terms if you make a product of all the max terms then it is called the principal conjunct to normal form such a normal form is also called as the product of some canonical form clear first of all we have to learn about the max terms max terms means the addition disjunction between the variable or its negation so after adding all the terms here those are called the max terms if you multiply all these max terms we will be getting the principal conjunct to normal forms clear so go through this video if you don't understand and next we have to solve these important questions the first one is negation of p or q so negation of p or q how we have to solve this so using the truth table so these are the truth tables so every time we will be taking p and q so here there are only two variables that is propositions p and q so first i am taking two trues and two true false and next one is single true single false single true and single false as usual as you know that there is a logic behind this one that is so if this is a disjunction so for two false so immediately it is followed by a false so this is the logic which you have to apply here so if you observe this one true 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 false false true and again false false so if there is a false false immediately you have to write a false and restore all restore all of an opposite uh, value that is true 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 clear so we have to make a negation for this so as we need the negation of p or q negation means next this one if it is true so we have to write false if it is true we have to write false true false if this is false you have to write true so the reverse statement or the negative statement of the given statement is nothing but the ne negation see here so negation of p or q is ready now how we have to write this pcnf so principal conjunct to normal forms see we have to select all the false statements so we have to select all the false statements and we have to consider the duals of this so if it is true see here if it is true 
for the principal conjunct to normal form so we have to write the duals of this if it is true so we will be writing p so here i have to write negation p see here i am writing negation p opposite to true is false so we have to write the false statement and next one this is a conjunct to statement i am writing sum and this is true so we have to write the dual of this so which is nothing but negation q so only the false statement i am taking if it is true write the false statement that is negation p and so this is false we have to write the true statement so which is true q and next one this is a false statement so if it is false you have to write the true statement of p so this is true or if it is true so you have to write the false so this will be negation q so these three so these three are the false statement in this principal conjunct to normal forms we have to consider only the false statement whereas in the principal disjunct to normal forms we have taken only the true statements now after taking the false statement we have to write the duals of these and we have to make a product of this so the answer will be so negation of p or q is equivalent to see here i am making a product of this see here i am making a product of this that is negation p or q and this is p or negation q see this is the product or conjunction so this symbol is nothing but the conjunction so these are all the so if you see these are all the max terms so these are all the max terms the product of all the max terms is nothing but p c n f that is principal conjunctive normal form clear after getting the idea the next one the next question here is negation of p implies q so as usual i am taking the statement again i am taking trues for two times and false for two times single true single false single true single false as there is a logic behind this one for p implies q so if there is true first and false a second immediately it is followed by a false so this is the logic only logic which you have to apply so check for true false is there any true false no no true false is there so immediately it is followed by false and there is no true false no true false and rest are all of an opposite statement that is true 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 clear so we have to write the negation of this p implies q for the negation if it is true write false if it is false write true if it is true write false if it is true write false so we have to select only these false statements so this is false this is false and this is false so immediately if you go to this one so this is true and true so we have to write the duals of this true so if it is true consider this as false and write the false statement of p sum if it is true write the false dual statement that is negation q and next one here is so if it is true here if it is true write the false statement no we have we shouldn't consider this true and again we have to consider this false statement if it is false here so write the true statement of p and see here if it is false if it is true write the false statement of q clear and next one this is a false statement go straight away here if it is false write the true statement of p and write the true true statement of q so after writing all the terms here uh, in the pc nf so we have to make a product for this so this will be the answer negation of p implies q is equivalent to so we have to make a product of all these that is negation p or negation q and this is p or negation q and this is p or q so this is nothing but pc nf that is principal conjunct to normal forms as you can see that we are making a product of all the all the max terms so these are all the max terms max terms are nothing but the sum of the variables or its negations the next one here is negation of p double implies q so as usual i am taking two trues so as there are two propositions two trues and true false and single true single false single true single false as there is a logic behind this one for double implication so if there are two trues again true if there are true false and again there is a false so this is also true huh? for double trues 
true for uh, double f's it is also false see if, if you see here there are two trues here right true and there are two false here right false and the remaining are all false statements that is false and false now we have to write the negation of this if it is true write false if it is false write true if it is false write true if it is true write false so here in pcnf so we have to take the duals of these two statements so we have to consider all the false statements only the false statement i have taken so here it is true and write the negative statement negation of p addition negation of q see here if it is true write the false statement of this one and here there is a false statement go straight away here if it is false here write the true statement of p or write the true statement of q and now according to the pcnf the formula will be negation of so this is negation of p double implies q is equivalent to now we have to make a product of these two that is negation p or negation q and this is p or q and last one this is the fourth question that is negation p or r and this is q double implies p so for this what we have to do so we have to take four trues so four trues true 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 and again this is false 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 and next one we have to take two trues true two false two trues and this is two false and here one single true single false single true single false single true single false and single true single false and see here so we have to take the negation negation of this one negation p so what is negation p means wherever we find the p statement so we have to take the dual of this if it is true write false if it is true write false so this is true write false true false if it is false write true if it is false write true this is true and this is true and next one is negation p implies r so this is negation p implies r so for this there is a logic if there is a true first and false next so it is followed by the false so you have to check true false so is there any true false here true false true false true false true false and here there is a true false so if you observe there is a true false immediately it is followed by false there is no true false and here it is true false right immediately true false so this is a simple logic for implication true is first and second one is false and it is followed by false so here is the case that is true false is false and true false is false and rest are all of the opposite statement that is true 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 so true clear and next one is q double implication q so for this what is the logic which we are going to use if there are two trues immediately it is followed by true if there are two false immediately it is followed by true so this is followed by true so if you observe this one p q so if you observe there are two trues immediately it is followed by true 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 and next one see here are there any two trues or true false so there are two false here immediately it is followed by true and immediately it is followed by true and rest are all of an opposite statement that is false 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 only this statement we have to use and next one negation p implies r and q double implication p so in between there is a and symbol so if there is an and symbol what is the logic if there are any two trues immediately it is followed by true so that is the only logic which you have to follow so among these two if you observe are there any two trues true true so it is immediately true 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 so this is true so there are no two trues so there is true true and here no and you have to write the remaining as of an opposite statement that is false false this is false and this is also false and see here after following this one so we have to consider only the false statements so how many false statements are there so this is a false statement this is false this is false this is false and this is false so in pcnf there is a condition that so we have to take so immediately we have to go to this one that is pqr 
so here this is pqr so here also this is a false statement so this is also a false statement and this is also a false false statement so we have to write the duals for that so if it is true so write the false statement so that is negation p and see here so this is some disjunction false means we have to write q so here if you see it is a true statement so write the false statement of r and next one here it is a false statement if it is true write the negation of p if it is false write the true statement of q if it is false write the true statement of r so here if it is a false statement of p write the true statement of p if it is true write the negative statement of q and here also negative statement of r clear so we have to write the duals and this is also a false statement if you go go here so it is false write the true statement of p and it is true write the negative statement of q and here it is false and write the positive statement of r and here it is a false statement there false so you have to write the true statement of q p and here it is a false write the true statement of q it is false for r write the true statement of r so these are all the things which we have to make a product for pcnf therefore according to negation p implies r and this is q double implies p which is equivalent to so we have to add up all these that is negation p or q or negation r and this is negation p or q or r and this is p or negation q or negation r and this is p so here if you see this is p or negation q or r and this is p or q or r so this is the pcnf that is principal conjunctive normal form so this is how we have to solve this is also so simple if you follow these steps so the truth value table if you use so you can find out the principal conjunctive normal form in an easy way first of all i said you we have to find out the max terms max terms means connecting to two variables that is the variables propositions that is p or its negation through sum or the disjunction so we'll be getting all the max terms and if you make a product of these max terms we'll be getting the principal conjunctive normal forms so this is how we have to solve using the truth tables these are most important please do follow subscribe and if you practice consistently and this topic mathematical logics will be very easy for you and uh, dms will be very very you know, scoring subject thank you so much if you really like you know what to do please send it to your friend whom you love the most like the most and subscribe to this channel thank you for staying